in furtherance of his drive for accelerated application of artificial intelligence to solve social and business problems. Data Science Nigeria opened its first ever dedicated Nigeria Artificial Intelligence Hub in the prestigious University of Lagos. The hub, which provides an opportunity to foster the synergy between the academic community, industry players, with local and international technology, is first of its kind in the nation. Giving a brief presentation on the hub, the founder of Data Science Nigeria, Mr. Bayer Dekombi, shared the essence, focus, and value to be created by the hub in the innovation and research space. I'm sure the industry is looking for ready talent. You are not looking for talent that will come, you're still going to spend another two years teaching them data science. So we want to invest a lot and get them ready, such that you can come in here by 400 level and pick talents, because they are over ready, because they are already used to what it means, and that's why we're doing the first inter-university machine learning competition across Nigeria. As we speak to you today, 40 institutions have confirmed their interest. What do you want to do? We want to challenge them, study machine learning, participate in a competition, and the best 75 are the people we're going to bring to all expense paid boot camp in Lagos, five days, 10 to 15 October, where we're going to get the best expert to coach you, mentor you, to become high quality machine learning expert. We believe that we must begin to use data science to solve problems. So at this year, we're looking at deep learning. Deep learning is more advanced machine learning that can be applied to understand images, speeches, more complex data. And that's our focus. We're focusing on using machine learning for financial inclusion. One of the things we've done is that we realize that for great research work, you must get right data. So we focus on acquiring tools that can support data collection. You know, you want to work on sound, for example. How do you, con how do you take sound of the rain, sound of a, of a breeze, and all those kind of things. We've got bionic sound collector that can collect sound for you. You want to collect sound of different people, perhaps you want to use sound for authentication, for example. So you can call your name, you know, and then that. If you enter the hub, we have a biometric, so anyone that enters the hub, we don't use write your name. You identify digitally, because you're also collecting data that we can also use for image classification algorithm. So if I want to build a new model on biometrics, I have my data. So if anybody comes to the hub, just show your face, it recognizes your name, based on the fact that you've registered with your biometrics, your, uh, your fingerprint, and your facial. So those are the kind of thinking, and quite a lot. And then we have uh, drones that can do vegetative index. I want to take a, 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 a picture of a farmland every day, so that over a period of three months, I want to see how the plant grew, the crop, and I can do some image classification patterning around that. So all those tools are available, you know. Uh, and also the Intel Movidios allows you to do serious neural network. We've invested in them for students. And of course, there are other Internet of Things robotics that are coming. I will ship them in in the next two, three weeks. We have a lot of stuff. So essentially, we are looking for researchers. And all the tools they need to do serious research, we are provided. So having established that, also we also focus on the next generation. From July 6th during the holiday, we're going to be doing AI summer school for young kids, where they will learn machine learning basic and Python. So for parents in the community, international school students, during the holiday, we're going to be running AI for students. You know, uh, we've limited this to GSS1 to GSC, because if you're in SS1, you should have known certain things. So we're going to focus on primary six, GSS1, GS2, GS3, get them to learn Python early, get them into the group. So this is already publicized, so start registering kids. We're going to run three different sessions managed by experts, you know. And it's all free. Everything I've all mentioned, I need to say it again and again, is all free. We don't charge anything. <laughs> Mentorship, boot camps, support, everything is free. Dr. E. Stewart of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, who is a unique Nigerian with 10 patents registered in the U.S., emphasized the need for Nigeria to take advantage of the fourth industrial revolution, which is driven by digital technology. AI is always about the future. So we need research in AI to translate tomorrow into today, just like the example I gave with GPS. You get it? Not just Nigeria, but all around the developing world, there is a big chasm between our needs and our capability to meet those needs, which is the human capacity. 
What we need to bridge that chasm is a collaboration between machine and the human. And that's what artificial intelligence is all about. I'll give you one example and then I'm done. Today, outside of Africa, there is something happening. It is called the fourth industrial revolution. My biggest fear is that Africa and Nigeria will miss out of it. What is the underpinning of this fourth industrial revolution? Three things. Number one, cloud computing. Cloud has provided us the basis for massive power and processing of data. That's number one. Second is the digitization of human activity, such as the proliferation of mobile phones has created big data all around the world. And then the third and final property is advances in computer science, specifically in AI. That's transforming industries, creating new businesses everywhere but Nigeria, but Africa. Let me repeat Andrew Ng again. It seems like AI is always about what? The future. We need research to make tomorrow today. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Oti Ogundikwe, lauded the initiative and believed it will serve as one of the key innovation hubs in the university and the country. We want to develop our students and expose them. We don't want people to harvest them outside and exploit them. I'll give you the real, an example. There are a lot of work, science, innovative work going on in Kenya. Who are the people harvesting it? They are not the Kenyans. We don't want the same thing to happen to us in Nigeria. Nigerians are very proud people. Nigerians, they are very, they are everywhere. And because of that, we want to harvest that and use that to now raise the standard and the feasibility of University of Lagos locally and globally. So I align myself with this program and I also register my interest in the hub, the, the office here. What we want is to make our students to be able to stand on their own. They have a lot of potentials, they have a lot of skills, but we need to drive them. These students, they have a lot of potentials in them. The seed of greatness is in them. So it's not left for us to ignite it. And once we ignite it, that big tree will come out of them. Professor Ogundipe, Dr. E. Stewart, Dr. Victor Dumuiwa of the Department of Computer Science, University of Lagos, and Mr. Bayadekambi speak further on the hub. Well, I would say that I'm really happy for what I've seen here. And I know that we'll still get more. Because if you look at the direction the world is going now, it's about data and data analysis. So I'm happy about this. I actually think it's a peak experience. Uh, the reason that it's a peak experience is that it's going to create a turning point in our ability to use data for decision making. The narrative about Nigeria needs to change. Um, not because it needs to change emotionally, it needs to change from a factual perspective. But it cannot be changed from the outside. It has to be changed from the inside out. And that's what makes today very significant, that DSN is investing in building local capacity to help accelerate that change by enabling Nigerians to tell the Nigerian story in a factual way using data. You talked about the fact that we need to take advantage of the fourth industrial revolution driven by cloud computing, digitization, and indeed artificial intelligence. How can we position ourselves as a country? An industrial revolution is defined by a movement that spawns an ecosystem of growth and development. That's what industrial revolution. So it's the thing is a catalyst for other things to happen. And so the three uh, ingredients that I talked about, which is cloud and big data, 
and machine learning, artificial intelligence combined together is creating market. Now that's what needs to happen here. What we are having is a fixation on one of the levels. But the three needs to come together, and that's my point. And it has to come together intentionally. Everyone needs to rally around Data Science Nigeria. Universities need to reorient their curriculum so that they can combine these three properties in order for us to be part of this industrial revolution. Doing one-off means that we are not ready, but combining all three gets us into that. What we need to do is to keep bringing real-life problems to the university. We bring real-life problems to the university, we have a synergy between the university and the industry. The university do the research and the industry brings the problem. I will create the meeting points and we'll see how the solutions from the university can help in the solving the problems of the industry. So, and this is the platform. And to continue, so we keep having a platform that brings together the industry, the academia, everybody together, and we we'll see how we can solve our problem, especially our local problem that the Western people are not looking into. And we know that we need to look into it and solve it so we can move forward, forward as a nation. We are very, very excited, you know, that finally we've been able to structure or facilitate such a platform where we can bring three critical drivers of innovation into one academic environment that produces a lot, lot of our research, industry that want to use that and also provide their needs and insight, and of course the tech ecosystem where we have the coders and developers, bring all of them together and all seeing that symbiotic, mutually beneficial relationship where we can facilitate sustainable, high impact innovation that can solve peculiar local problems and problems of interest to the industry. We don't want researchers to end up on the shelf again. We want researchers to be things that solve problems that are also supported with the right intellectual, technological tools and real world data such that they can become products. Products, innovation, startups. Of course, when we create more of that, we create more jobs, we change our narrative, we bring more investment to this country and we make Nigeria even more better. What will be the core uh, research areas and what will be the services offered for, for this hub? Well, there will be four things that this hub is going to focus on. We call it the four M's of uh, Data Science Nigeria. First is going to be around mentorship. Uh, we have a large network of mentors, over 100, 000, over 100 all over the world, who are experts in the US and the UK. They would like to mentor students. Uh, we have master classes. Master classes are learning sessions where uh, experts can teach, facilitate learning, especially in specialized areas that are more complex and more demanding. I uh, thought to be meetups, uh, which are areas where uh, people meet on a regular basis uh, to learn together because sometimes you learn when you meet people, you gather and learn. And the fourth will be the uh, monetization of the ideas. When you have great ideas, it must become money. So how do you package your ideas in such a way that it can become a, an innovation that is ready for market? The first ever Data Science Nigeria Artificial Intelligence Hub is a welcome development and marks a new chapter of a proactive and dynamic collaboration between the university, the industry, and technology community geared towards innovative solutions that will address the numerous challenges in the country and unlock new opportunities for the economy.